Hello, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a human being who has found himself targeted, inoculated with Morgellons disease, covered in genetically modified insects, uh, zapped with electromagnetic weapons, and tormented and tortured by people with strange ideologies. Um, I awoke this morning to the, to the constant drumbeat of, you're a piece of shit, you're not worth anything, you lived a crappy life, you have no value, you're a piece of human garbage, blah, 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 blah. and I almost believed it for a moment, you know, because like after a whole night of that bum, 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 start marching in step, you know, and, uh, and I said, wait a minute, no, I'm not. Yeah, I might have made some bad choices and wasted a lot of time I could have been spending with, uh, you know, trying to get to know God and, and helping other people, but first of all, it wasn't entirely my choice and, uh, or fault. And second of all, okay, this is where the stress comes in, all these people, and I'm like, ah, ah, agoraphobia, I forgot what you're talking about. Yeah, they've done something fucked up to my brain. And, pardon my French, and you can uh, see the applications of this to take somebody who's not a danger to himself or others, uh, make them burst into rage, uh, and then shut them down. You know, a part of their brain is short circuits. So you can't think or do anything when you're upset. And because I'm PTSD, traumatized, ongoing traumatic syndrome, whatever, uh, just being outside in the public makes me shut down. So, uh, anyway, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I woke up to the marching drums of, of what a piece of human garbage you are. You have no value as a human being. Blah, 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 blah. And what made me recognize the difference between me and this thing that tries to pretend it's me? I started to think about all the other pieces of human garbage, if you want to call it that, all the other people who are, uh, you know, and, and then I started thinking about all the people who are, are worse than me, all the people who don't care if they'll cut your throat or eat your baby or whatever kind of evil thing they do. You know, there's people that relish in this stuff and, 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 and you know, their, um, their brains are wired differently than ours. Um, you know, if, if these people are, are, are okay with this in my head, then somebody who, yeah, I made a lot of stupid choices, I made a lot of stupid mistakes, I've done a lot of things that I wish I had never done. But I never purposely set out to hurt anyone. I never, and when I did, I stopped before I hurt them because I realized that's not who I want to be. I don't want to hurt people. I don't want to be hurt, and I don't want to hurt others. And so I've never, I never, anyway, you know, I, I, we're in this tiny room. We're bombarded with this Petra's got the nonstop V2K uh, reminding her, you know, what a, <laughs> powerful witches, you know, the power of the internet, I mean, it just goes on and on and on, it's, it's a chat bot designed to, to chat you into botnik, you know, it plays good, good parent, bad parent, good cop, bad cop, they're both cops, you know, um, and she's got, um, the same things that I do, interestingly enough, difficulty making decisions as to prioritizing, what to, what to throw away, what to keep. Um, hoarding is a result of this inability to prioritize. Supposedly, the part of the brain in the back, lower, I don't know if it's occipital or wherever it is, someplace, is one of the last to develop, according to the research I've done, but, you know, um, one of the last to develop as a teenager, the ability to prioritize tasks effectively um, based on, anyway, 
Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm looking around and I'm, I'm covered in little jumping, flitting things. It's just, it's just like that nobody even believes they're real, even though I'm showing them to them with a microscope and, uh, you know, biting things and, and everything. I'm looking at them, flit, flit, flitting, flit, flit, flit. And I can't tell the difference between the ones living in my eyes and the ones just jumping around and thinking to myself of everything that we've tried to do to kill these things. You know, we've tried everything over the counter. And I'm like, what, you know, I get this bad feeling like, uh, you know, I mean, I don't want problems for anybody. I just want to live my little, little leftover life and not hurt so much, you know? And these people are like, well, you're the poster child for pain, so we're gonna hurt you, boy. And uh, so, you know, it's uh, a struggle. Oh yeah, it's a spiritual thing, right? It's a spiritual battle. Yes, it is. It's also physical, mental, and uh, you know everything else. And so, don't try to misdirect us. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm confused. I, I harbor a lot of anger towards a recent episode where somehow by being me, I betrayed someone who was helping me and, uh, you know, by needing help, I, I, I get that all the time, actually. Um, I guess people have their own ideas about what's, who's worth what and, and who's worth helping and who's worth uh, nothing, you know? <laughs> And it's interesting how whenever one develops a, a personal connection or asset or a friend or advocate or uh, it seems like within a short period of time that is destroyed somehow either through our actions or inactions or somebody else's influence or maybe they weren't really that in the first place or you know there's just so much so many layers to this Truman Show weirdness that you know, you begin to wonder if you can trust anybody, let alone yourself. <laughs> yeah, man. So, um, the best thing I could do was just put on some clean pants, even though the bugs are jumping and like dancing in my underpants, and um, go get some coffee, which now I had to go to the store, which, you know, and I get these horrible panic attacks after listening to this all night, you know, and and so I gotta take this panic medication which knocks me out and I can't be knocked out because I gotta move and I don't know what these people are, you know, if Petra can't take it easy, uh, we gotta figure this thing out because this is horrible, horrendous, and anyway, thanks for watching. I really don't have many, anybody to talk to, you know, so putting it out there and people say a lot of mean shit. And then it hurts. And people say a lot of shit that is true. And I feel it and I take it and I think about it and I do something about it. And people say uh, positive things and supportive and thank you, God bless you. And those people who reach out and actually do something, thank you all the more. God bless you. Truly, really, thank you. Um, God bless us. Take care.